Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you are still watching The Breakfast Show. And in this segment of our program, we will talk about the tourism sector as it has witnessed a great uh, boom uh, under the leadership of President Afrika Hassisi in the past eight years uh, as uh, the government has adopted new and innovative ways uh, to promote for Egypt's tourism abroad. And now we are joined over the phone by Mr. Walid al Batouti International Tour Guides Ambassador. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, Mr. Walid, uh, can you first uh, give us a brief, a brief uh, glimpse at the touristic developments in Egypt in the past eight years? Well, uh, to be honest with you, the Egyptian monuments, yes. let's, let's talk first about the monuments, the Egyptian monuments did not receive uh, this much of attention as much as it did receive in the past eight years. There has been a mega... Um, restoration throughout the whole entire country. Uh, I cannot say that they concentrated with one site over the other. Uh, no, it was like a, a, a general plan throughout the whole entire country. <coughs> and, and this is really brought some, some sites, brought them back to life, such as the Temple of Esna, which uh, most of the uh, uh, travel companies, they left this out of the program. Lots of things have been uh, done. Um, we, know, we, we have seen a number of new hotels. Uh, we have seen some renovation that happened uh, over, uh, over and above the, the roads uh, uh, which uh, connects uh, cities together has been uh, uh, definitely improved. And this has put uh, so much positive impact uh, on all these sites. Yes. Uh, when we talk about tourism, yes, you know, the, the whole world went through uh, uh, the uh, pandemic and now we have the Russian-Ukrainian uh, war. But we're still here in Egypt, uh, thank God, we're still receiving uh, tourism and uh, we're one of the first countries after the pandemic, uh, yes. we were on the right track. So we were doing very good. Um, <clears throat> and this does not come haphazard. Uh, 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 just like this, no, this it comes as a result of uh, uh, hard work that has been done to do this. And in, in the new, as we say, the new, uh, uh, the new country, the new government, yes. uh, uh, everything in Egypt is turning new now. Uh, there, there is an update on everything. Yes. Uh, you know, we have now uh, the electronic tickets, we have the the uh, e-ticket to all sites of Egypt. I mean, there, there is lots of things that you could say, really, that we're doing good. We're still asking for more, to be honest with you. We still ask for more. But uh, uh, let me just give you an example of one, one very important thing. Now they're building a subway by the, by, by the new museum, by gym over there. This will make the movement of the average tourist who's coming on by, by himself, he can, he can get on the subway from downtown and go to wherever he wants to go. This was not in the plan and the past. You see? <clears throat> so Egypt would be like, inshallah, in the future, like any other destination abroad that a client could come and just book a hotel and go on the public transportation. Uh, yes. or private transportation or whatsoever. But, I mean, things, we're, we're facilitating everything for the tourists. Mm. We're trying to make everything. Uh, I could see this happening. The number of museums uh, that has been open in Egypt, uh, the restoration, as I told you earlier, about uh, such as the Cairo Egyptian Museum is, um, is competing now uh, with all the restoration. The Civilization Museum is an absolute beautiful yes. adding <clears throat> Civilization Museum is not just a museum, the Civilization Museum is a culture hub. You know, it's a museum that holds events, get to do with art, with music. Uh, it's a culture hub. Um, uh, this, is, this, is, this is the, 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 the one star in Egypt now that is really promoting the country very well. Yes. 
Uh, Mr. Uh, Matuti, as uh, we have all seen that, uh, as you said, the, uh, the museums uh, have witnessed uh, renovations and uh, many of them were inaugurated after being renovated uh, during uh, the, uh, in the past uh, eight years. Uh, to what extent uh, uh, the renovations of these uh, museums uh, was essential and helps in uh, boosting tourism? <coughs> It was very, it was very needed. I mean, the Cairo Egyptian Museum uh, was in very bad shape, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it, it was everything running down. It was, it was in very bad shape, and uh, and you know there was there was a rumor yes. uh, by by some people that they, they started to say, well, the new government now uh, and the new administration under President Abdel Fattah Sisi has priority to other stuff as priority to other things. Tourism yes. is not uh, on their uh, agenda. And then, you know, they, everybody was surprised and they, and they kept quiet because the result is they could see. People like to talk without seeing. Yes. People like to say uh, 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 things and have assumptions and they follow rumors, but they don't see with their own eyes. And they don't ask the people who's in the field, who knows, who knows better than them, okay? Because I can see, this is my work. This is I. I go to the pyramids almost every day. I go to the uh, to, to the to the museum almost every day. So I am the one who speaks about it. I'm the one who can say they're doing something or not. But you you will have someone who sat on a cafe, heard a rumor, and then he goes and spread it and he puts it on social media, which unfortunately I saw. Uh, a, a post on the social media, and unfortunately, it comes from a tour guide yes. who hasn't been yes. inside the Grand Museum. And but he's talking about the Grand Museum and the staircase. And, yes, actually, and the that you, you haven't been inside, so you cannot talk. You cannot talk about things. Okay, bear in mind, bear in mind that abroad, abroad, mm. we have a very good reputation of being the country that did not stop building the mega projects. Someone says, what does uh, building a monorail or a, uh, or a railway or this has an impact on tourism? Yes, it does. Yes, uh, Mr. Walid al battuti I'd like to thank you. Uh, unfortunately, we are running out of time. Mr. Walid al battuti former advisor to the uh, tourism minister, tourism expert. Uh, thank you for being with us today. And uh, by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's edition of The Breakfast Show. Thank you for watching.